<laughs> you taught us a very bad word. You can tell girl has never cooked a day in her life. <laughs> I hosted two trips in Thailand and brought 20 subscribers with me on each trip. So this vlog is going to be part one of my first week in Thailand with the first group. This was the group that signed up for the culinary theme trip. I loved getting to meet everyone and sharing all these new experiences and just strengthening our parasocial relationship. I definitely want to host more group trips and if you're interested, there will be two trips in Vietnam in April and two trips in Japan in October this year. I'm also planning more trips in 2024 so it's very likely that I will be doing South Korea in May and Bali in August. I'll have all the links below if you want more information. You can also sign up on my email list so that you can get notified whenever a spot opens up on these trips. The last thing I want to say before we start the vlog is that an easy way to actually travel for free is through the escapism of books and games. That's why I'm glad for this video to be sponsored by Tribe of the Accord. This is a young adult fantasy novel written by Sean Stone. It's loosely based on the Stone Age and it follows a young girl named Adira who's only ever known a life in the wilderness with her her father and so one day a mysterious clan abducts him so she ends up fleeing to all these unfamiliar lands and having to put her survival skills to the test kind of like what I did while I was in Thailand and just like in Thailand she also formed friendships and joined a tribe there except it wasn't really on vacation it was literally just for the sake of survival there's also a pixel art game adaptation in the works right now and it's themed around hunter gatherers so it's just a really cool way to be immersed with these characters and this world in a new medium so if you're interested I will have the links in my description below where you can read more about the book and the game and even order it if you wish. So thank you once again to Sean Stone for sponsoring this video and now let's go ahead and have our own adventure in Thailand and try all the yummy food. Well, Elias and I landed in Bangkok yesterday. We slept until like 3 p.m. Old habits never die hard, I guess. The reason why I am hurriedly putting on sunscreen right now is because we're about to go downstairs and do the welcome dinner to meet everyone. I think there's about 18 to 20 travelers. We are gonna meet pretty much everyone tonight at this fancy Michelin star restaurant. Two, two Michelin star. Two Michelin star restaurant. I don't think I've ever been to a two star Michelin restaurant in my entire life. This I don't think fun. I have either. And this this is Elias's first time being outside of the country too. Yeah, it's it's been surreal so far. What do you think of Bangkok so far? So far it's hot as hell. It's super humid. <laughs> Everyone seems to be on a rush to go somewhere. Like in traffic, I feel like I'm gonna die any second. Literally zero fucks given to anyone driving or walking or crossing the road. Here it's like whoever comes first goes for it. It doesn't even matter if it's like a red light or a green light. Well, the road that we went to last night was like Times Square on it steroids. It was great. The music, <laughs> the food, the ambience. You dropped some sunscreen. Oh no. Gotta lick it up, babe. Oops. <laughs> Gotta lick up all that pre -cum. Would it be gross if I reuse it? No. Anyways, this is our outfit for Michelin Star Restaurant. Trousers, button up, and Sydney's wearing. Do we look like we're a couple? <laughs> Ew. <laughs> gonna be a trend where I just put sunscreen on every time I update the vlog. We are going to a farm so that we can cook our meal and learn more about how Thai people and Thai farmers make their meals. I'm a city girl so I never go to like a farm or anything. I don't even know how to get to a farm. This is all very new to me and I'm glad to be experiencing it with a couple of subscribers and my boyfriend. I would never have it any other way. All right, let's go to the farm.
What do you think, Elias? It's pretty cool. I'm kind of excited to cook our own food. Oh, you're recording. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you thought I was actually genuinely interacting with you? romper dress. Elias is not here because he really wanted to go get breakfast because he loves to breakfast at this hotel. I still need to apply sunscreen, but then I'm gonna join him real soon. Yesterday was such a busy day. In the morning, we went to a farm to make our own food and the farm was so much more extravagant than I expected. And it was really cute to see some of the travelers get really into cooking or learning about the farming techniques and the sustainability. I've already memorized everyone's names, which I did not think would happen. I feel like the farming activity was a good team bonding experience because we got to like work together and we got to laugh at Elias because the trip guide would get him to try this super sour thing and he would like freak out and be a drama queen about it. And so we would all laugh at him. The trip guide has really enjoyed making fun of Elias. We got on a tuk-tuk tour. So Elias and I got the party tuk-tuk. Well, actually one of our trip guides called it the sexy tuk-tuk because there were like flashing lights. The driver was playing like 80s dance music. Each tuk-tuk can hold two travelers, so it was just like a bunch of tuk-tuks all going down a street, and we were joking about how it was gonna be like Mario Kart, and we would race each other. I did not shave. Oh well. We got to eat this delicious pad thai. It's probably the best pad thai I'll ever eat. It was in this tiny shop that has two Michelin stars, and I totally understand why. That pad thai was so amazing. I've never had anything like that in the United States. The sauce and the noodles are very difference in the US whereas the noodles in the place that we went to last night they were so much bouncier and lighter kind of like ramen noodles but it was so good I requested a second bowl and then I ate other people's bowls when they were too full so I basically ate like three bowls of it and then we ended the day with going to a rooftop bar which had a view of the river we got to try out some beer and a couple of drinks one of the travelers Millie got a lychee martini. I got to take a sip of it and it was really good. We were all so tired by the end of the night. Today is going to be a bit more chill because the only group activity that we have planned is visiting the floating market. And after that, it's going to be some free time. So I don't know what we're going to do during our free time. Most likely what's going to happen is someone in the group chat will probably say that they're going to like some place and then we'll all join them. I don't know if you can tell, but I've been vigorously rubbing my legs with sunscreen because I am a friend of getting burnt. I'll take you along with me. Let's go. We're gonna have fun.
just borrowing Elias's clothes. Today, we are going to these ruins and a temple, and it's gonna be really hot inside the temples. You're not allowed to show your shoulders or your knees, so it's recommended to wear really thin elephant pants. These pants are really comfortable and breezy, and I know I look like a total tourist wearing elephant pants, but I really like them, so I might just give in and buy them anyway. We had to pack our suitcase because we are gonna take a sleeper train over to Chiang Mai. We're leaving Bangkok today. I'll take you along with me. Let's see all the fun new stuff together. change because once again I am updating this vlog while putting on sunscreen. We are in Chiang Mai. We took a sleeper train after we visited the ruins. It's basically an overnight train that we took from Bangkok to Chiang Mai. So we went at 7 45 p.m. and then we woke up at 7 15 a.m. Although they wake everyone up at 5 a.m. so that they can put the beds back into a seat. I know you secretly miss me crying because we're not in the same bed, <laughs> but don't worry. Um, I slept pretty well. I kind of liked it. It was an experience for sure. The sightseeing as the sun came up was really nice. It was more comfortable than a plane, but I feel like anything is more comfortable than a plane. As for the ruins yesterday, they were beautiful, but I was dying. Because I don't think I've ever seen you sweat so much in your life and looking miserable as you were. Dude, yeah, I was <laughs> so freaking hot. You look pissed off, cranky, and wet. Like a wet dog. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is, I always look pissed off because I have resting bitch face. I wasn't pissed off, but I was very tired. But we had an amazing lunch. That was the highlight of the day. We had giant river prawn, but my favorite was the soup because the broth that we had was like the most unique broth I've ever tasted. All the dishes were regional to Ayutthaya as well. After checking into the hotel at Chiang Mai, I feel like this whole thing was worth it. The hotel that we're staying at is beautiful. It's it feels like a tropical resort. There's so many trees and greenery everywhere. And this hotel is amazing. The food here, even though it was like vegan, I'm not really into like vegan food or anything like that. Yeah. Incredible. Everything is like white and pristine. There's like tiles, blue tiles everywhere too as well. <sighs> it's nice to be treated like a princess for once. Literally this entire trip. Elias, how you do this? Elias, how you do that? Elias, can I do this? I don't know how she would survive on this trip if I wasn't here. <laughs> can you believe that I was a solo traveler? I cannot. Literally half the things as she told me, I'm just like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's because you're here, so I'm trying to make the like, most use how, of you. How have you traveled like alone before and survived? Yeah, I've traveled alone before and survived several times. First time I ever went internationally by myself was in Paris, and I went from the airport to my Airbnb and survived the whole trip without Wi-Fi too. Or without data, I mean. <sighs> I'm an independent girl, but then whenever you're here, I just become fertile. She's like, I hate men. After this experience, traveling solo is going to be boring now, 
out because I really enjoyed being with the group. I did too. It's fun. It was really nice. Y'all are cool. We are gonna get a Thai spa and massage. I've never had a Thai massage before. I've only had one massage and it was kind of painful. So we'll see how this one goes. Suddenly, the world I used to know, I see it differently. You woke me from a dream, now here's reality. Baby, baby, you are really hurting me. Cause every time you tell me I'm good and bad, I'm doing fine. But nothing ever changes. And now I see, baby, you are hurting me. Stuck in repeat. Stop lying. I know you play in your part. But baby, it's breaking my heart. How could I know? If you don't need me, just let me know when I go. Truthfully, the game that you today I <laughs> today we took a rickshaw tour we got to see a bunch of temples what stood out to me was visiting the women's correctional facility the princess of thailand started this program to help the women prisoners try to save up for a better life because a lot of times women who go to prison in thailand it's for causes or offenses that aren't even yeah they're like mostly drug related even if it's an accident or if accomplices like the punishment is really severe it was kind of like this exhibit so we got to read about these women's stories and there was this one woman i remember she stabbed her husband with a knife because he was abusive so it was out of self-defense and then she got sentenced to eight years for that this program is aimed to help these women build skills to help them in the workforce when they get released later. They learn how to cook for restaurants. They learn how to sew clothes or make tapestries. Part of the exhibit was like the store where you can buy the stuff that they make and it goes directly to them. But I bought two shirts. They look so cute. They had really great embroidering on them. However, I tried to put it on and I could not take it off. <laughs> I had to lie on the floor, kneel on the floor and Cindy had to like slowly yank the shirt off. And I think I lost like some armpit hair because it was like, it was really digging <laughs> in there. I'm so sad because it was quite expensive, but you know, I'm supporting. I support women's rights and women's wrongs. A lot of us were going through the store and buying a bunch of shit so that we could help them. Yeah. And like a lot of this stuff was cute too. So it was cute, but you know, they make good presents. Yeah. I also got some souvenirs today for my girlfriend. I wish I could buy Ooh. like some of the clothes, but unfortunately they require hand drying or hand washing or whatever. So I had to stick to other materials. I feel like you can just put in the in the washer and just let it hang dry. You know how lazy I am. I don't I understand how literally half the things that she does she's able to survive i'm <laughs> fucking astounded she told me shit i'm like girl what the fuck what happened what would happen to you if i wasn't here i genuinely and so worrisome for you because you're like oh yeah this and this and i'm like cindy <laughs> i solo travel a lot though i so don't know how she survived she I must have like do. the luck of god on her hands or something <laughs> because what the fuck anyway i really like that program the united states could take some notes and then we went to eat um at no there's a chef who cooked for celebrities and from like London and he came back to help his family with the restaurant And so it was really good food. So we got to eat fusion of Thai and Japanese food So we got to eat some sushi, we ate some 
really good fried chicken. That was my favorite. Now we're back. This is kind of like a little break before we head over to visit a family to do a cooking class. And we're gonna cook with the family. And then after that, we're gonna go to a drag show. So it's gonna be a long ass night. Yeah, this is the, the last day before tomorrow. Oh my gosh, the trip is almost over. Well, I hope everyone gets sad tomorrow that the trip is over because that means they'll have a good time. <laughs> She's like, there better be tears for this to be successful. <laughs> exactly. See you at cooking class and the drag show. I'm so tired. How come I did that to you earlier and you're like, yeah! <laughs> Bitch, hurry up, you're gonna burn your food. Salif, one more. <laughs> you taught us a very bad word. You can tell girl has never cooked a day in her life. Oh. Be very careful, your panodo is gonna jump out. You got this. JJ, how do you say stupid in Thai? No. 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 No, 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 on the back, on the back. Open, like, flip it normal. Ah. I'm so excited for you to watch back this footage. <laughs> Sorry, I'm no salid. <laughs> Here it is. What do you think? Uh, no comment. <laughs> no. <laughs> Cindy. What? This is how we do this. condom and some lipstick to prove it and it was so fun tomorrow we'll be going to an elephant sanctuary so that we can give a bath to elephants city actually has been close to an elephant before okay just saying not the body dysmorphia even though so many performers were in love with you look at cindy's bed right there and then look at this big one and she refuses to share she's like no i don't like sharing she says she doesn't like sharing as she shares all of my clothes <laughs> multiple outfits <laughs> Telling things are well What facts belong It's hard to say The pattern is so hard to tell But we're together That's our game Round and round and round We go The dance ain't over I'm sure we're still the same Love the ways you make us whole Would you say If things ain't right The 
the end of our first week in Thailand is officially over. People from our first group have departed ways to different countries. Oh my god! <laughs> the revulsion is real. That's why I have to deal with. She don't love me. Come on, baby. Ew, ew, ew. You can't see her. She's sitting on my lap. This should be the thumbnail. <laughs> We had a really good time. We had such a good group. I'm gonna miss them. You guys were amazing. JJ, you homegirl, we love you. Some people even cried mm -hmm. on their last day. One of the sisters, Edwina, oh. one of our travelers admitted that the night after the welcome dinner, she ugly sobbed in her hotel room. I was like, good. <laughs> that was the plan. The two babies we had on our trip, we called them babies. Oh yeah, we, the called them, we called them the kids. And we're like, oh my gosh, like I don't wanna think about it because I'll cry. You know, like, you know, people get teary eyed. That's a pretty good indicator that this trip was successful. Solid week. Yeah, we made them attached to us. <laughs> the fun isn't over because next week, technically tonight, we are gonna start the second week with the second travel group. This time the itinerary will be themed around adventure. So we'll go waterfall climbing, bike riding, white water river rafting. If you got FOMO, I'm still doing other trips with Trova Trip 2. Are they all sold out? Uh, you can get on the wait list. <laughs> <laughs> Even if you're on the wait list, you could still have a good chance because... Yeah, because some people in this first group actually were able to get on. I'll link them below if you're interested and you're getting FOMO. <laughs> I'll see you next time for week two. Good morning. What's really